Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So I haven't really been able to give you guys some progress updates because I've been trying to get some good maps to uh, show you guys with Mr. Boom Boom Shockwave Totem. Uh, but instead, I ended up running a tier 15 map. Um, as you can see here, we've been... I think we are, we're running uh, Carcass for our final Shaper Stronghold, which should start shooting the Shaper Strongholds all over our Atlas. So Solo Cell Found is about to get really fun. But uh, in that map, we actually found a Abyss, and in the Abyss is a Lich, and this is going to be a, well, level 83 Lich. And as this character was made for bossing, I just figured I should show you guys out, or show you guys how it turns out. Unfortunately, it wasn't really made for Chaos bosses, as I have minus 48 Chaos res. Um, but let's just go ahead and see how it goes. Two, three, drop this down. Okay, what's he doing? Omega lol. I don't even think my totem has chaos res. One, two, three, drop this down. Uh, so we need to switch to here. So one, two, three over here. That one's dead. One, two, three over here. Move away from the chaos. I'm gonna put one totem over here. I think that crystal is dead, so let's put one over here. Ah, uh, that's a lot of shit going on. Okay. Okay. Totems are still alive, smacking them. I don't know if he switched phases yet. Oh yeah, he, he already switched phases, so this is good. So we'll just kill these Stygian hearts. Nice. Phase him again, actually. Yep, we phased him again. So let's just kill this. Okay, and then last phase over here. One, two, three. I cannot carry this. Alright, I don't need this. These this is garbage. At least we have an item level 85 Stygian Vice now, so that's good. These are all of the unique. Look, I know that that's all the unique, so you don't have to keep telling me, Bex, okay? Pop. Okay, are these the level 20? These are the level 20 Shockwave Totems coming in. Alright, so I guess while I'm here, I might as well show you guys the map boss. I've never done Carcass map boss, so if I die, please please don't make fun of me. Um, I'm really scared of this boss, I don't know what she does, so here we go. Oh yeah, it's this one. Oh yeah, it oh, it's the Shaper Stronghold too! Okay. Oh my, what the fuck? Okay, that was a scary initiation. Uh... Can I just put this over here? Nope, because Shaper's bad over there. Give me Fortify. That didn't hit. One, two, three. <gasps> it covers, like, the whole fucking arena! Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Did we go add phase again? One. Oh! Okay. 
too. There's shit there. I need to watch out. That's chaos. I'm gonna get some flasks. Actually, it's at phase. It's not at phase. That is gonna kill me. Does it go away? Does it go away? <laughs> I think it's gonna stun lock and kill me. Fuck it. Okay, it didn't kill me. Good. My totems are in it. Are they... I guess they don't really care. Shaper cares. <laughs> She's down, boys! How much are the totems? To it fucking destroys the totems, too. Uh, okay, so let's just go sell and we'll grab this stuff in a second. Welcome. One, two. See you soon. Let's see, put this in. Don't need this. Lion eyes. Give me these. Give me these. I mean, I'll just pick this up, but I don't really need it for anything. Uh, that's bad. So we have two more Shockwave Totems that are now level 20. Uh, let's see if we can get a level 21 Shockwave Totem. So those are probably Shockwave Totem here and Shockwave Totem here. Come on, come on, come on. Level 21, level 21. Fuck, dude. All the bricked Shockwave Totems. So to talk about some changes we've done uh, with the build, I figured I might as well let you guys know. So we're currently rocking 7200 life with a Tabula Rasa. I still have one life node to pick up here, and we've got five life nodes or four life nodes to pick up here. Um, I haven't really done anything in terms of jewels. The only jewel I really have is this jewel right here, which I've crafted. Um, I've got a Stygian Vice crafted pretty well here. I do plan on getting a fire damage slash global physical damage slash tier one life roll Stygian belt, but that's going to be kind of difficult to craft. Uh, these are my really shitty boots. I somehow have not found better boots and I'm level 92. I don't know how that's possible, but they're garbage. Um, I really want to get better boots so I can farm Uber Lab for a little bit so we can get the 10% penetration enchant. Uh, these are my gloves. Nothing really needs to be said about them. I don't know why they're three socket. Uh, this is my weapon. It's still the same weapon from the videos. I'm trying to farm. Basically what I was doing is I was trying to knock out all the Shaper Strongholds because now Shaper Strongholds will start appearing on my map and I can farm those Shaper Strongholds and it's going to be much easier to get an item level 75 plus shaped uh, scepter which we're going to use to craft, um, not craft, but we're going to use it so that we can, well yeah, fossil craft it to get the uh, physical damage added as fire along with like fire pen and some other stuff. Um, Tukahama's Fortress, still the same thing, I divined it four times, it's still not above 90 life. We did craft this opal ring with essences, ironically, so it's pretty nice. Uh, 25 implicit Ellie with 19% fire with a 69 life roll. Um, I've got this shit ring. It, literally, the ring is the exact same from the previous one. Um, this amulet is pretty much just straight life. We will be crafting a elder amulet because elder amulets can roll like 20% of physical added as fire as well. That's another huge buff. You can technically essence craft for 10% added fire. But on accessories, that's like impossible in SSF because it's limited by uh, essences and those are like very rare to find. Uh, here's the bone helmet I ended up crafting. Remember, we are using a bone helmet implicit because of spiritual aid, which makes it so minion damage affects us. Anything that affects you will affect your totems. If you need some confirmation, look at my DPS, it's 24k. If I take the helmet off, it's 23k. So it does work. Um, it's 90 life with 3% max life, and that's actually a tier 7 life roll, and uh, technically you can still, well is this triple prefix? It's not triple prefix, which means technically you can still exalt a hybrid life, um, but the main focus on this is helmet, life, minion damage, and minus fire res. I did uh, pristine fossils with scorch fossils to craft this. I'm trying to get another opal ring so we can smack that on, and we can essentially get another double damage roll here. And then, like I said, we're going to try to go for the Shaper Necklace, or the Elder Necklace. Now, I have done a little bit of modifying to my passive tree. I just realized I have two more life nodes here. But I have done some minor changes. I ended up swapping out of the AoE here. 
I'll be honest, Shockwave Totem's AoE is dog shit, it's not really that good, and scaling AoE is not bad for it, but I decided instead to go down to Totemic Zeal for a number of reasons. One, I didn't think I would need the placement speed, but the thing about placement speed is, if a skill has bad AoE, the best way to scale it is to just place it really fast, so I just, you know, I can place them super quickly, um, so if I notice, like, you know, I put a Shockwave Totem down, it's not gonna hit the whole pack, I just throw another one behind it, the pack dies. Um, so that's one thing. I also decided to go over here for Sentinel because since we're going to be essence crafting and or just in general scorch crafting, we're going to be crafting our gear, which means I can't really be picky with it. If it rolls really high damage, I'm going to need the elemental resistance. So uh, Sentinel has the option of going into like resist, resist into jewel socket. And again, this is for like, say we craft another opal ring that rolls, for example, 30% fire, 25% Ellie, 79 life, 50 strength, no resist. Um, that's going to be a big resistance loss from this, but it's going to be like 200 plus life along with 50% increased damage for some resistance slacking. So we'll just drop in a resistance here, for example. Um, yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, we are going to be tackling Guardians and Shaper. Uh, I decided to stick with the Tabula Rasa because we vault a bunch of them. I got plus two AoE gems. I know some of you guys may say like, oh, the build doesn't work. The only reason why it works is because they're using a six link plus two and a two Kahamas. Well, I mean, simple facts. If, if I had like an OP shaped weapon, the OP shaped weapon would literally counter the plus two because remember the best way to fight a boss and scale damage against the boss is penetration. I don't have labyrinth enchant for 10%. I'm not using multiplier rings. I don't have a multiplier on my amulet for 20% more. Um, I mean, there's a lot of damage you could still spec on the tree that I chose not to get because I'm, you know, going for the big life. So there's, and I also could get a level 21 Shockwave Totem, which when put into here would be a level 23 Shockwave Totem. But I think ideally the goal would be to get a uh, Six Link Elder, like, Astral Plate, uh, probably. Six Link Elder Astral Plate because I could get plus one gems on it. Uh, and then we could have, like, you know, a 150 plus life roll and be like 8,000 life right now. Maybe not 8, like 7,900 probably, 7,800. Um, yeah, that's pretty much updates to the character. If you guys want to know what's going on with the Caustic Arrow, bro, uh, even though this video is not going to be about him, I just want to show you really fast. He's chilling. I basically will use the Caustic Arrow dude to farm Delves because he moves really, really fast. Um, uh, we ended up six-linking the Quillerain, so that's really good, but I haven't really been playing this character too much, even though I really like it. I've been mainly focusing on the Shockwave Totem character, because as we know, Shockwave Totem doesn't have the best clear, but if you don't have the best clear, simply put, take your character and throw it into Tier 14, Tier 15 maps, all of a sudden it's getting great XP because you're killing such high of level targets. Uh, I was also going to go ahead and show you guys some of the boss fights for Delve. Unfortunately, I don't know if you guys have been aware, there is this really bad bug and GGG needs to step on their game and fix it because sometimes you'll get a boss, like say say here, you see this beast burrow? Well, I had a boss that was similar to this and I basically, you know, I found the dynamite or I found the, the way to get it, so I boomed my way to get it, but because the path was too long, I couldn't fight the boss. It doesn't matter if you log, it doesn't matter if you switch characters, it doesn't matter if you create a new instance, you simply just can't fight it. And since the Delve merge just happened yesterday, uh, it merged Delves with the Caustic Arrow character, which means I lost the boss fight. Which kind of sucks because it's solo self found, but you know, whatever. Um, I'm just here to have fun right now, so. Next goals with the character for sure is um, basically trying to get to Guardians. Um, and then for the Shockwave dude, we're trying to get Elder and Shaped pieces to craft. And then tackle Shaper, and then we'll see how Uber Elder goes. Uh, well, I guess we gotta still fight Red Tier Elder, and then Uber Elder comes after. Anyway, though, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, remember, if you like the characters, you like the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys had a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.